What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to Baggers and Brews and another edition of Thirsty Thursday. This week we're trying yet another Bone Saw Brewing Company beer. That excites you. So on this week's episode of Thirsty Thursday, we are drinking Shoretown Hellas Lager from Bonesaw Brewing Company out of Glassboro, New Jersey. This is advertised as a easily crushable porch pounder. Porch pounder? Porch pounder. Are we talking about beer? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Well, at four and a half percent, I'm not sure if we're talking about beer, but we're going to find out. So you're, you're almost offended by the low ABV sometimes. You know, sometimes it's like, hmm. So it's a Hellas Lager. What's a Hellas Lager? Hellas Lager is a German style beer that is usually um, classically brewed with um, German noble hops. German noble hops are like Saz hops, Tetnang hops, Hellertau hops are the uh, are the hops that are typically used okay. traditionally in brewing a a German lager so probably a little bit of Munich malt this is gonna be uh, should be a nice malty nice malty okay. nice. yeah it says it uh, uses the finest imported German malt and hops there you so go they're a little more that vague than nice. you but also a uh, short town is your town <laughs> <laughs> let's crack this sucker open and see what we got So, off the bat, this looks like some champagne or some, some some Coors Light. So this is super light. I wouldn't even call it straw. So yeah, it's not it's not a straw. They grade beer in color by SRM, which is your standard reference method, and they do that by shining light through it, and that's how they grade the that color of the beer. Very made up. It is very beer nerdy. SRM. Wow. You you can look it up. So when we talk about how light it is, like straw. This this is. A typical Hellas Lager is usually like a four to five SRM, which is a little darker than this. Mm -hmm. This I would call almost like a two. I mean, this is super light. With that light over there coming through there, from my angle, it looks like some lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad thing. I'm just. We like Bone Saw Brewery, though. I do like Bone Saw. Orthopedic surgeon and like an engineer, I think, was it? I'm not sure exactly. Opened up that brewery down in Glassboro. Huge, huge operation for a craft brewery. Mm. Mm. It's light. Very light. Mm -hmm. A lot of not lot. Not a lot of nose to it, really. No, no, no. Nope. Not much at all. No. Very light. No. Nah. I don't smell it. Got me. <laughs> Am I missing it? I don't smell no, it. No, you're not missing it. There's nothing there. No, no, it's 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 it's, it's a very it's nice very glass light. of well water. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to taste better. Alright. Smells maltier than it does hoppier. Well it's cold. It's very cold. Ooh. Is that the malt? Don't taste it. It must be because it just kind of went whoops. And it is malty. Yep. This is probably one of the maltiest lagers I've had in a long time. That is very malty. Hmm. It is super, super malty. I mean, I'm getting... And he's had a lot of malty lagers. <laughs> 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 well, I've had a lot of lagers, but not like not like this. I mean, this is it's different. Hmm. It's an animal of its own, really. I, yeah. I think. Um, and we talk about approachable craft cool. beers. When you go into some place like Bone Soul, they have a wide variety of beers. Very They've got wide. some big IPAs. And if you're not, again, if you're not a, you know, a big beer drinker, this, this is uh, this is your baby right this, here. They made this. So that people could come to their brewery with and, their friends that drink light beer. And, or, and their wives who don't like it's craft a beer. Smart. It's a smart move. It's a smart. Mm -hmm. Very smart You're move. smart. That's just so, smarty pants. That being said, we're in New Jersey. And it's the shore. Oh, yeah. And a lot of people don't think that. They, they don't necessarily know what the shore is. You know. It's they don't know. They don't know what down the shore is. No, they don't know what down the shore is. Why don't you tell them? It's that's going down the shore. What's the? <laughs> it's it's going to what people would call the beach. The beach. But yeah. but in, in Jersey, the shore is really only from like Point Pleasant to like maybe Atlantic City, and then when you get to the way southern end of Jersey, Wildwood, it's the beach. 
Cape May, it's the beach. People don't call it the shore. That's so, not true. They all call it the shore. It's Wildwood right? Beach. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where he came up with that one, but sure. And, and, and you're going down the shore. Even if you're going south to get there or east to get there, you're still going down. Yeah. We drive dead east and we go down, down the, the shore. shore. Down to the shore. So. Heck, so. even when we go to Point Pleasant, which is north, we're going down we're the shore. We're still going down the shore. <laughs> we went down the shore last weekend. Yep, sure did. <laughs> uh, oddly enough, Bone Saw is not down the shore. They are in like southwestern kind of mm -hmm. part of New Jersey. Yeah, yes. they're closer to Philly. Yeah. Um, this, um... You liking this? No. Not, not for me. I just... I'm not... You need a little bit more hop. You do. I just yeah, need he needs the bite. Something. He needs that. It, it, and again, it's not. I've said this before, but it doesn't. It's not. Doesn't. There's not a bad taste to it. It's not mm -hmm. your style. It's, it's just it's not your beer. And I don't mind a light, refreshing beer. This to me just. I mean, it's very cold. My freezer does a good job, but um. It's malty. It's. I, I, I honestly, agree. I agree with that. Malty's not the malty part's the best part of it. You know, you don't like it. Well, I, well, not for George. No, it's not that it's not that I don't like it. I mean, it's a good beer, but when I, something is billed as a Hellas, I expect a little bit more hop character in it okay. than this. This is. Did not, you get much hops? No, I'm not getting much hops. Maybe. <laughs> hmm. I'm and not I, getting any hops at all. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I kind of expected that when. when you know, when you first smell the beer in the glass, you're, mm -hmm. you're also not getting any. And then when you taste it, it lives up lives up to that. So, hmm. it's light. It's refreshing. You know, I feel like I could drink a lot of them. Yeah, you definitely could. At what is you it? 4.5%. You know, but he, and here's here's my thing with craft beer, though. Skull. You know, I'm drinking a 4.5% of that. Is probably not cheap. What is this? What was this for this the six pack? This six pack was eight ninety nine. Okay, that's pretty cheap. That's not yeah, too bad. That's not terrible. It's not too bad. That's not terrible. So, short and sweet for me. I mean, it's it's very light. It's very crisp. It's very refreshing. He definitely is a porch pounder because one hundred percent at four and a half percent. I'd have to pound a few before I even realized I was drinking beer, but. Um, <laughs> It's 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 okay. It's just not for me. Yep. Yeah. I, same here. So it, it it it's good. It doesn't have what I'm looking for. Build as a Hellas Lager, and you know, Bone Saw is a brewery that we've had a number. I've had a number of beers from at this point. Oh, yeah. um, you know, Red Hearts was a sour that even you guys. That was liked. good. Mm -hmm. So listen, don't hate us. Yeah. Don't don't don't, don't hate don't, us bone don't saw, hate us bone saw. because I'll tear up some swoosh <laughs> and just yeah. about every so, other IPA you yeah. got and that red what was it called red uh, it was red red brulee red heart yeah the brulee brulee brule sour brule. that was good I that saw was that some amazing. of the fridge and I like those I saw it today too and and oh. swoosh is swoosh mm -hmm. is a staple swoosh is delicious yep this but is this is just 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 not the best effort I've had from bone saw just but again not. we intentionally you know didn't want to do any IPAs today so yep. it's different it's different for us. Just not the style of beer we like. Mm. Well, but I can see, I can see a market for this. Absolutely. Oh. For the for the folks trying to not yeah. drink the big box beers, but don't like hops and a lot 100%. of the other big craft beers. If I tastes, had a brewery, you got to have one. Of these. I would have one of these yep. because your your drink your craft beer drinkers mm. are gonna come in with people that don't drink that stuff, yep. and they're gonna say, "What's the closest thing you got to a Coors Light?" Smart move, and, yeah. and this is better than the Coors Light. Uh, so, mm -hmm. yeah, no, no comparison. So you know, and, and and it's like you know, it's it's like the the, the gateway beers. You know, these yeah. these lagers and mm -hmm. these you know these wheat beers are are the craft beer gateway beers, and then people start to explore, and all of a sudden they're having a wheat beer, and now it's like, oh, I like brown ale. I've never had, you know, I've never mm -hmm. tried brown ale. And then they, they start to get a little bit of that bitterness, and then they might fall into like a milkshake IPA. And, and that's how... Yeah, that's that, a big jump. But that, yeah, sure. But a milkshake <laughs> IPA is not, not necessarily a bitter beer. It's not. But it still is a hoppy beer. Mm -hmm. And that's how, you know, that's how it starts for people. I mm -hmm. mean, mm -hmm. I didn't like IPAs, you know, a number of years ago. And yeah. I had a Rebel IPA, and that was, you know... Opened your eyes, huh? No, I didn't no. like it. Rebels, uh... and, and it is a Sam Adams IPA. Sam, yeah. mm -hmm. And then I had an IPA from a local place in Hackensack. 
and I just changed my world. I, yeah. I found you know an IPA that then opened me up to other IPAs. Yeah. So, I mean, long story short, these beers have you know their purpose, and they they get people into craft breweries, and they help expand the craft beer culture. And you know, it's uh, you need to have them. Absolutely. Great. Um, that's it, man. Thanks for watching. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Let us know what you like. We got some suggestions. I know somebody out there shot out Dogfish 60 Minute IPA. We're going to do Ooh. that soon. Yeah. And we haven't tackled uh, any good craft porters or stouts, really. So we're mm -hmm. going to get on that soon, too. I think the only porters and stouts we did were for uh, St. Patty's Day. So we're yep. going to get some good craft ones. We're going to do that soon. So, uh, yeah, stick around. We'll have a lot more of these coming down the road. Check out our untapped profiles link below for uh, how we rated Shore Town by Bonesaw. Sounds good. Till next time. Deuces.